Hey there, this is Dolphin, and that is you, probably wondering what DAO landing is. Well, I like to look at things from a different perspective, and uh, any ship I get my hands on, I try to land upside down and see how it goes. So I got the Cartual again. I almost forgot it. You now there was free fly, and then I copied my account with all the available ships to the test server, and the test server was... Uh, uh, inaccessible when they moved uh, version 3, 230 to uh, to live and it is back on and my I still got my account so got my opportunity to uh, fly the ship so what I will do is try to land this upside down and uh, you might think now okay you no know, the usual but uh, the Jean have these weird ships as is known which do weird stuff like this and now things get a little complicated what is upside down uh, okay let me change the control scheme okay so upside down normally would be this right but uh, that doesn't work right that wouldn't stand so this ship it's so weird in, in design that there are actually two ways of landing it upside down. It is more like um, landing it on its back or on its front. So I will first try that which looks more stable and land it on its front. Let's align it properly. Okay. So, okay, now I have to think. Now I have to move forward. Okay. Ooh, a little bit more in this direction. Should be easy if I do it carefully. Now I gotta see where it is. Okay, this looks good. Ooh. No, I broke off a wing. Darn. Ah, I'll just continue. Okay, one wing missing. This will be a problem for next attempt okay there is the long this, this is difficult to predict when it will uh, switch to a different landing mode and yep and now it's tipping over i guess okay let's look at it from the outside um it probably tried it went into landing mode because it was uh with it in, in within the landing position you know like when it's so uh, 90 degree in a 90 degree range it will uh, register as being a landing approach oh man this really probably have to uh, get another ship to try it the other way around yeah but you see so this is now technically on the front and it's not exactly up upright I tested this before okay but this is not because of the ring you you can balance it on this little thing there so tip to the side but it doesn't have to be tipped so normally it would lie completely straight it was I tested this before because no way you can figure this out before testing it with such a weird ship and uh, they added maneuvering thrusters so the ship now handles the way you would expect it from the design concept and i don't see the maneuvering thrusters i thought it would perform well without them but here you can see the um, countermeasure launchers here's some other stuff you probably normally wouldn't see this is all the lower half of the ship but okay yeah and then there is uh, another way of landing it on its back and uh, I'll get a ship I'll cut to that when I got the other ship and then try that and there's a little surprise then about that okay then I'll cut to next see you in a moment okay there we are back again with a fresh new ship okay so I, last, last time I landed it on, on the front side and now the other variant the other way of doing it and that is on the back side since this is a vertical ship that is the other way of landing it and this is difficult now because uh, of 
keyboard controls, you see the thrusters, they have latency with which they react. And even if I tip backwards while in decoupled mode, it will approach too quickly. So this will, I have to do this very gently. Okay, am I, yes. I don't know whether you already see where this is going. But if not, you see in a moment. This is actually the way you would land a Jean uh, ship that is all insect-like. So, okay, almost there. Just gotta be careful with those little antenna-like things. But this will reveal a very new perspective about this ship. Okay, gotta tip a little bit down. Okay, this hopefully will stabilize itself. Another weird exit again. <laughs> Not even on the ladder, but okay. This is a, that's the first cool thing. This is a zero gravity exit, very elegantly. And now check this out. And this is, uh, this ship looks like a real insect now. Or an insect would land. Let's look at this from the ground. Now this almost looks a bit like the Kirai mount in World of Warcraft, doesn't it? Yeah, this is the moment I landed this and went got out of the ship. It was like Eureka. This is the proper way of landing this ship. <laughs> I'll definitely do this on live too. You know, this is what when you experiment and uh, just take a different look at things, a different perspective, then you discover whole new shapes and worlds. So this is just a cartoon, you know, if you turn your head on its back, but actually looks like it could walk on the ground like this. And now we can examine, examine the back. This, this is all the back side, now have, which now has become the underside. Yeah, and uh, course I'll get in again and then just because uh, the ship is as I said the ship is not like in my last review it is now in a proper state maneuvers properly very agile and I just want to give you a brief a brief look about that, of that so if you were just here for the Dow landing that would be it otherwise okay <laughs> Well, there, zero gravity entry. And just briefly, I will show you how the ship maneuvers and uh, the speeds. So the speeds too, it is now in the category of a racer ship. Since in the law, uh, someone used the uh, car to for racing, so it has to be able to do that. Okay, now you have, I have to think again. Forward is the right now. And it's already in flight state. Okay, let's get out of precision mode and then, okay, the view is not the best, but you know, you got pros and cons in every kind of ship. Okay, regular acceleration, which is pretty good, 290, if you look at this, how, like, so acceleration, recovery, real racer ship, after, so 290 after burner, 450. Let's do an afterburner turn. Okay, that was boost turn, but never mind. Here you have maneuverability of the ship. Some strafing. Okay, and then let's find some trouble. Here we got the beautiful quantum travel effect. And I just realized I recorded this in 30 frames per second. Oh man. Really a 
annoying. And... Okay, I will end the video here because... For some reason this ship doesn't have guns. I did not remove the guns from this ship. And I didn't bump them off. Ah. Yeah, I know what I did. Uh, I probably mounted them. Yeah, I mounted them on the freelancer. But you see the maneuverability and uh, yeah, you would normally have lasers. You see here how easily you can uh, track an enemy. So very, it reacts Warning. very quickly. And bam. <laughs> very nimble. Okay. Yeah, so the guns are on the freelancer right now because I uh, I changed the freelancer and made a nice loadout there. But yeah, that was it. So the car tool is now quite fun. It still has two uh, size 3 lasers. Um, you can mount repeaters if you want to, but uh, it's a special ship. It's meant to be a scout and not a full-on dogfighter. So yeah, it's very interesting now, but not my, not my type. I'm happy with the ships I have, uh, and had some very good uh, performance in com in uh, cooperative vandal swarm with my saber. Okay, then that was it. And see you next time in more videos that will be coming. See you in the verse.